dead, I guess. Yeah, the free spots don't stay free for very long. No, that's right. It um, fills up in here pretty quickly, so you've got to get it done when you can. What do we got this time? So we've got Freddy's wagon here. Picked it up, 500 bucks in Moree. Spent the first weekend dropping it on its guts, putting some wheels on it that didn't look like the horrible 14 inch alloy mags that had on it. Yeah, what were they like? A similar to like a globe or something like yeah, that? Yeah, that was something like that, yeah. Which are probably fairly era specific, but just yeah, didn't really suit. So that looked near as good as what's on it. No, that's right. So it's been lowered all around, fixed a few bits and pieces that were wrong with it, service, the usual, um, pod filter because it's a VN. You and can't go without that. Now today we're going to try and fit a line lock to it which is not really what it's going to be doing. It's going to be cleaning out the rear brakes, but... Yeah, for drag racing purposes. Yeah, that's right. It won't be any longer than 60 seconds. Yeah. And um, it's also going to spool because it doesn't go on the road. Yeah. It doesn't go on the that's road. That's right. It's Mexico only. That's right, yeah. So I'll show you around a little bit. Right, so there's not really much happening here yet. Obviously, there's a pod filter. There's going to be... What do you want to call it? A Wuhan war whistle up in here eventually, but we're still collecting a few bits and pieces. We'll get to that eventually. Plan on putting the line locker in here somewhere. Well, um, got to get it in and work out where it's going to be. But yeah, she's a pretty stock old bit of gear. It's done 300 and something odd thousand Ks. Second owner apparently, so. It's come a fair way. Headline sag because VN. But yeah, he gave her a polish, blacked out all the trim because it was all shitty. Had to fix a tail light, but nothing really out of the ordinary. The best thing is, which not that anyone really cares, but still has the stock 1991 spare tire. Even still got all the little nubs on it. It has not ever been on the road, which is pretty cool, but not that anyone really cares. Put some 6x9s in because VN. And yeah, so we'll uh, he plans on putting a tint on it. Probably getting some springs that aren't a third of their normal height. Not to raise it up or anything, but just so it doesn't ruin your spine. Yeah, pretty stock, but getting there yeah it's pretty cool for 500 bucks that's right obviously we're we're boosting it oh eventually you, you can't not boost it no that's right yeah. beat a few falcons and five litre commodores mm -hmm. cool let's do it all right so line locker um normally they're used to lock the front brakes on to stage drag racing in a manual car mainly we're going to use it backwards so we can lock the back brakes off and still use the front brakes uh, being that it's auto and it gives you a bit of control through your burnout which you only ever do on the drag strip uh, or in Mexico so the plan is to fit it down here somewhere if you can see cut this back brake line off yep straighten it out fit it into whichever side it has to fit into. Yeah, so it's going to come from the master up here. It's going to go into the out, which and is opposite to the way it should be. And then it's going to go through here to the rear brakes. Out of the in. Yep. Because we'd like to do things backwards. Yeah, that's right. She's a good girl. <laughs> so we're using this Aeroflow line locker. It's... Whichever the second cheapest one on eBay was, so we weren't just dealing with Chinesium crap. Now it's Chinesium crap with an Aeroflow sticker on it. So it's got warranty at least. So it was like, I don't know, 140 bucks or so. Come as a kit, it's got some wiring, it's got a switch, a light, um, and yeah, it's pretty much good to go. We had to buy these fittings separately to I'll put the part number in there. To get the um, ball flares back in, because it's just an eighth MPT otherwise. 
Yeah, so the this goes from an eighth MPT to a double, double flare. flare, which so it's got the flare on it there. Obviously, you're gonna have to flare the line going into it. Pretty sure it's three sixteenth. Then there's a flare down in there. So we've got a kit which we used on the VH. We're gonna be able to make new lines and put it where we need it to. So this is the fitting part number for that eighth MPT to break the layer, so it should be a good thing. We'll mark it out and mount it and we'll start making lines and come back to it. Cool. Alright, so Mark's made a bracket down here. This is where we're going to mount the line lock. I'm just going to rotate it up so there's plenty of room. And I've bent a bit of this Bundy tube. Uh, 316, I'm pretty sure it is. So I'll just reuse the original fitting to go into the master. So that'll go in there. And then put a few more bends in it. Go into what is labelled as the out. And then this end here is just the line that goes to the back brakes. So we'll put the new flare on, like this one on the other end. Flare it in and uh, wire it up and it should work. So we made a brake line here, comes out of the master, down, Mark's painted the bracket so the solenoid is not there at the moment. And then I've flared the line that goes back to the rear brakes. So, once the paint dries enough, we'll reinstall that, bleed the brakes, and we'll do some wiring. Should be easy enough, hopefully. It's only two wires. How are we going in here? So, I've got the wiring done. Comes with an inline fuse, a little 4 amp fella. So, I've just tapped into a switch power in the fuse box, taking it down here to a switch which was already in there for a set of driving lights it had. And we've added this little green light. Yeah, by set, you mean there was a single driving light still on the front of the car. Yeah, well, it's, it's a driving light. Yeah, so. yeah. So anyway, when you flick the switch, the light comes on, lets you know that it's engaged, and yep. you might have been able to hear the switch underneath the bonnet. Now we bleed the rear brakes because we've obviously had the rear line off at the front putting the line locker in. Just trying to get these petrified brake nipple caps off. But are you telling me that the 30 year old car's fucking rubber bit, bits are no good? Well, I wouldn't use it. <laughs> All right, I've got to bleed the brakes now because Obviously we broke the brake line open, now there'll be a bunch of air in it. Obviously we drained the master cylinder so it wouldn't leak everywhere, but it still did. So. Of course it did. Let's do that now. Cool. Yeah. Look at that. A pump up marker. Yep. Ooh, that's better. Go again. Yep. Yep.
a wrap up. Can you see me at all? Yeah, no. We go. <laughs> line locker works now. Uh, yeah, no. So, did the line locker, let it up, flick the switch, does skids. Works well. Apparently, this is inside the shed. Oh, me beer be tainted. <laughs> I made sure it was in the in the path of the rubber. So Your gold watch wasn't in the road, would be right? Yeah, not me gold watch. How would everyone know how rich I am otherwise? That's right, you're gonna get a grill soon, aren't you? Yep, that's right. <laughs> how are these new shots? Glorious. This is an ad for this bloody show. <laughs> Make sure you drink plenty of beer. Otherwise, you're wanker.